Well, it's only been a couple of days. We got these on Friday. And so today is Tuesday, Tuesday morning. It's a little cloudy today, a little drizzly. So it's a little different than it was uh, on Friday when we got the container. So here's the, here are the caterpillars again. These are the Painted Lady caterpillars in the media or the diet. This is an artificial diet they're feeding on. And uh, there's a couple of things I want to point out. You can see they're pretty big now, much larger. So, of course, they've shed their skin. And so I wanted to show you one of the sheds here. I was pulling the lid off, and that one just fell down. But here, this, this little black thing here, it looks like the head of a caterpillar and then all the body all squished up next to the head. Well, that's how they shed their skin. And it's all into a little ball. It kind of looks like a dead caterpillar, and it's not. And so there's a shed skin, so now they're bigger, and you can see they're much larger. And the other thing you can notice when you look inside, there is a lot of webbing. And the, the, these caterpillars have webbing glands. A lot of caterpillars have webbing glands up near their head. And the, like the moth caterpillars will make the cocoon out of that using the webbing, and then they pupate inside the cocoon. These are, these are our butterflies, so butterflies They'll have that same thing. The caterpillar has the webbing that they can make, but they don't make a cocoon. They'll, they form a chrysalis somewhere hidden up in the eaves of the house or in the trees or in branches and things like that. This one's on the ground most of the time, feeding on ground plants like mallow. And so what it'll do, uh, these caterpillars when they're on mallow, is they'll take the new leaves and they'll fold them together and web them together like this, and then they feed on the inside. So that kind of protects them from predators and things like that. So they take the mallow leaves and fold them up and they'll feed on the newer tissues of the terminal growth and things like that inside that fold. So anyway, that's why there's the webbing. So you can see they're much larger now and they're, they're only gonna eat a little bit more, they'll get a little bigger and then finally they're gonna go up to the top and, the, and on the top of the cap here is a little paper and that's where they're gonna attach themselves using that webbing and they'll take their back legs and, and uh, actually they're not really legs, they're called prolegs, and grab that webbing real tightly and then form their chrysalis. And so we'll talk more about uh, the legs and things in the next video when it gets a little closer to the pupation stage. Okay?